dear students today we will perform experiment number 3 and demonstrate this experiment and we have already demonstrated performed two experiments the first experiment was to determine the resistivity of given wire by using ohm's law yeah by the help of ohm's law and second second experiment was to determine the resistance of a given wire by using meter grids and today we will discuss perform and demonstrate the third experiment and the, this is the most important topic in your theory also to determine the internal resistance of a given primary cell say dry cell or neclance cell by using the potentiometer do you know very well about the potentiometer potentiometer is an instrument we have read reading theory potentiometer is an instrument which is used to determine the internal resistance of a primary cell and to determine the emf of primary cell and to compare the emf of two primary cell and do you know very well the principle of potentiometer when a constant current flowing in a wire we will take a wire for example this one is a wire a constant current flowing in this wire and the area of cross section of this wire is uniform then potential drop or fall in potential across this wire is directly proportional to length of uh, length of that portion that is we can say v proportional to l ya v is equal to kl where k is known as potential gradient on this fact the potential meter is what the fall in potential ya potential drop across the wire is directly proportional to length of that portion okay now today we will determine the internal resistance by using the uh, internal resistance of a primary cell by using potential meter in this apparatus in this experiment we need the following apparatus potential meter apparatus jockey connecting wires primary cells say dry cell or neclance cell and you can also use the dimmer cell rheostate which is also known as variable system resistance box and battery eliminator two one way key two one way key and galvanometer used to detect the null point of the circuit and in this experiment we will use the following formula the internal resistance of primary cell is small r is equal to capital r e by v minus 1 where r is the load resistance which is applied by the help of resistance box e is the emf of primary cells e is the emf of primary cell we know about the prime emf when no current drawn from the cell the potential difference across the board terminal of cell is called emf and when current drawn from the cell the potential difference across the board terminal is called terminal potential difference so in this formula e is the emf of primary cell and v is the terminal potential difference and in this formula we have already proved that formula in theory the ratio of e and v is equal to l1 by l2 l1 is the null point ya balancing length for emf or v is the balancing length for l2 is the balancing length for terminal potential difference so in this equation one we can put uh, e by v is equal to l1 by l2 so now the formula we will use in this experiment is small r is equal to capital r l1 by l2 minus 1 l1 is the balancing length for emf or l2 is the balancing length for terminal potential difference okay now we will explain the diagram circuit diagram of this experiment this one is the potential meter this the diagram have 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 cm 600 cm length in the potential meter and in this apparatus we will use today the 10 meter uh, length of the potential meter ya yeah, 1000 cm length of the potential meter okay where the length is more the sensitivity of potential meter will also increase and this is the two two is to page uh, where we will uh, connect the wires a and b at a point the positive end of the main battery a main cell connected at a and negative pole of the main battery a cell a battery eliminator connected through rheostat and key k1 key k1 uh, at the point p and which cell the emf at internal stress is measured the positive end of this experimental cell connected to a and negative end through galvanometer connected on the jockey and jockey slide on this potential meter wire uh, where we will find the null points and a resistance box that's value the uh, the value of resistance is known 
and uh, connected across this cell. At one end of the resistance box connected to positive, and uh, another end of the resistance box through key K2 connected at negative end. Okay, and when K2 is open, how we can perform this experiment? First, K2, K1 is closed and K2 is open. When K2 is open, then there is a no current drawn from the cell. When K2 is open, so then no current from this experimental cell. So in that case, E is directly proportional to L1, or yeah, E is equal to KL1. Equation 1. Where K is the potential radiant of the potentiometer, or L1 is the balancing length, balancing length for the EMF of the cell. And when K1 closed and K2 is also closed, and some value of resistance box, some resistance offered by the help of resistance box, 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 3 ohm. And we will take the readings and find out the balancing length. Now balancing length is find out at L2. So now in this situation is current drawn from this cell. So the, the potential difference across the both terminal of this cell is called terminal potential difference. This is called V. So now V is proportional to L2. Yeah, v is equal to KL2. Equation 2. Now equation 1 divided by 2. So E by V is equal to L1 by L2. L1 is the balancing length for EMF. Or L2 is the balancing length of terminal potential difference. We will make the following observation table. Now we will explain two questions. Uh, many times uh, ask me your board examination. Sometimes the deflection in potential meter going one side and you cannot perform this experiment. So what are the possible faults? So in that situation there are the two possible faults due to which the deflection of galvanometer meter going one side. When the voltage the potential difference of this main battery eliminator is less than this cell, experimental cell. So in that case the deflection is going one side. Again this is when the potential difference of this main battery a battery eliminator is less than the experimental cell for example this is the potential difference is 2 volt and the cell is 3 volt in that case the deflection is going one side and you cannot perform the experiment and you cannot find out the balance length and second possible force when the polarity connected wrong this one is positive and this is negative or this one is negative or this is positive in that case the deflection going one side and you cannot perform the experiment so first of all we will check the connection of this experiment that the experiment working is properly or not properly okay and we will take the readings first of all the k1 is closed and k2 is open when the balancing length l1 is 440 centimeter again we will close the k2 and open the key of 2 ohm resistance from resistance box and take the balancing length L2 this one is 340 and the value of L1 and L2 are R put in this formula is small r equal to capital R L1 by L2 minus 1 the value of R is 2 and L1 is L1 is 440 L2 is 340 centimeter minus 1 then you will calculate the value the value is of the resistance 0.57 ohm. And do you know what is the interstance? The resistance offered inside the cell due to electrolyte and electrode. That is called internal resistance of the cell. Again, the L1 is 440, K1 is closed, and take the balancing length. And R, R is 3 ohm, applied by the help of resistance box. Again, taking the value of L2, this one is 100, 380 centimeter. You can put the value and find the result of small r. That value is 0.49 ohm. 0.49 ohm. And we will take the mean of the both results and the mean value of the interstitial is 0.53 ohm. You can also take the another readings by changing the potential gradient by the help of real state. When we change the value of real state, uh, then the when we change the value of potential gradient the balancing length L1 L2 will also change. Okay, now we will explain by the help of by the help of apparatus. Start. But uh, students, this one is the potentiometer, and that potentiometer have 10 wires. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
तो देर फॉर द लेंथ ऑफ पोटेंशियल मीटर वायर इज वन थाउजेंड सेंटीमीटर और टेन मीटर वैन द लेंथ ऑफ पोटेंशियल मीटर वायर इंक्रीज द इट्स सेंस पोटेंशियल ग्रीडेंट डिक्रीज एंड इट्स सेंसिटिविटी वे आल्सो इंक्रीज तो ही आर इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी आर यूजिंग वन थाउजेंड सेंटीमीटर लेंथ ऑफ पोटेंशियल मीटर वायर तो दिस वन इज द एफेक्टर्स ऑफ पोटेंशियल मीटर दिस वन इज द ए पॉइंट एंड दिस इज द बी पॉइंट दिस वन इज द फैक्ट्री एलिमिनेटर वी विल प्रोवाइड दैट इंस्ट्रूमेंट प्रोवाइड द डी सी इफ दैट कनेक्शन पुट इन द फोर वर्ल्ड तो वी विल गेट द पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव फोर वोल्ट डी सी एंड पुट इन टू वर्ल्ड तो वी विल गेट द टू वोल्ट डी सी तो वी आर यूजिंग इन दिस एपरेटस बैटरी एलिमिनेटर एंड वेन वी गो फ्रॉम टू वोल्ट टू एटीन वोल्ट एज पर रिक्वायरमेंट ओके दिस वन इज द रिओस्टेट इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड वेरिएबल रजिस्टर and by the help of rheostat we can change the potential gradient of potential meter so what is the role of potential rheostat in this apparatus the role of rheostat in this apparatus to change the value of k potential gradient okay this one is the one way key and the positive end of the battery eliminator connected to this one a point and negative end of the battery eliminator connected through key k1 and rheostat at b point okay and this is the circuit and now Which cell is internal resistance is measured? This is the dry cell, primary dry cell. We want to measure the internal resistance of this cell. The positive end of this cell connected to A, and negative end, negative end of this cell connected to galvanometer through G, Joki, and a resistance box, and resistance box with K K two, K K two connected across this cell. one end of this resistance box connected to positive end and second end of this resistance box through k k2 connected at negative end so how we will take the measurement by this experiment experiment yeah by this apparatus okay first of all we will connect the key k1 first of all we will connect the key k1 and switch on the battery eliminator and first of all touch the Touch the wire, जो कि on first wire, the deflection going towards right side in galvanometer. When touch in last wire of this potentiometer, the deflection going left side. So it means that our connection is hundred percent correct. There is no fault in this connection, and the connection is are properly at a uh, connected. Okay. And now how we will take the readings? First of all, we will connect the key K1. and find out the null points find out the balancing length so now connect on the first wire So at this point, at this point, 440 points near about, we will get the null points. So at this point we are getting the null point. This one is the L1. This is the L1. Now again we will connect the key K2, key K2, and offering the two ohm resistance. Uh, again repeat the now and uh, again repeat the same way and find out the balancing length L2. Now the balancing length is find out 340, 340. So this one is the balancing length. Near about 340 centimeter. So you can put the value of L1 and L2 in this formula. Small r is equal to capital R L1 by L2 minus one. Then you will find the value of resistance 0.57 ohm. Again, the L1 is same because we are not changing the potential gradient. Now we will draw the three ohm key from the resistance box. That is, we are applying the load resistance is three ohm. And now we are taking the current from this cell. Then the balancing length will be 380. 
and then you can put the value you can put the value of l1 l2 in this formula and we will find the resistance 0.459 there is just some error but the value is approximately equal and we will take the mean of that both observations yeah, both readings and then we will find the resistance 0.53 ohm so this one is the internal stress of this dry cell we are measuring by the help of potentiometer the another experiment of potentiometer in your syllabus to compare the EMF of two primary cell by using potentiometer we will explain next term that will be the experiment number 4 thank you